What's up, Peak Timers? Let's open up a bunch of the newest Hot Wheels Jaguar I Pace E Trophy from HW Green Speed. And this one's in like a matte black finish, and it's got like these speckles on there, which is really, really cool. Gray wheels, we got the Jaguar logo there, Hot Wheels logo there, number one. We got some nice light blue kind of striping, and on the top, you can see that Jaguar logo, Jaguar on that rear spoiler. Not much as far as tempo on the rear, they've saved it all for the sides and the top. The front end looks like it's kind of aerodynamic, got like that inlet dent grill, even though it's an EV, but overall, I think this is a really cool new casting. Dior three from surfs up and this one in a crazy looking orange color we got the yellow bicycle in the middle right there then we got the sport little surfboard right in there which is really cool blacked out wheels with the white lip on there and on the back pretty clean on the front end also pretty clean with those two seats on the front end 1970 dodge charger from tuned fast and furious and this is the tuned out version of the charger. We've seen the, the regular charger in a few different sets recently, but this tuned out variation is just crazy looking. Look at how high that roof line is for it. On the back, we got the chrome, the chrome engine on there. I think it's neat they're coming out with the Fast and Furious series in this nice tuned edition. Glory Chaser from HW Roadsters. And this is our mainline variation. They do have a Super Treasure Hunt edition of it, which is in a slightly darker color. We do have the Golf livery on this one, the Hot Wheels logo, the nice chrome red wheels on there. And just check out that Golf livery and striping on there. You can see the Golf logo on the front end, and we can see on the interior right there. Overall, I think this is super cool. It's kind of like a throwback to like an old Jaguar E type of some sort, but it's a really cool, neat fantasy casting. Cloak and Dagger from HW Art Cars. Being in Art Cars, you can see all the different graphics and stuff that we have on here. Some sort of like skeleton head. We got the E and the E on the front, the big E and the small E right there. And on the front end, you can see that kind of like pointed edge right there. It's all plastic body, so it's, it's a very light feeling car. I, I can't remember if this comes off or not. I don't think the top comes off. Some of them do, but we can see the wheels on the inside right there, but not my favorite type of casting, but if you like it, there you go. Bone Shaker from HW Dream Garage. And we saw this one previously released in a darker color, and I like this one right here. It's kind of like a like a glossy green color. We got the chrome on there. I love these wheel tire combination. And of course our classic bone shaker, we've got the skull on the front end. But overall, this is a nice addition to my bone shaker collection. There's just so many colors they release of them, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. It's a great casting. Lamborghini Cyan from HW Exotics. And this is our newest color in orange, and who's gonna deny the fact that orange Lamborghinis look so, so good. We got the nice gray wheels on there. I think these wheels are very fitting for the Cyan. And the Cyan kinda looks like the new Lamborghini Revolto that came out. I like the design on the front end, very similar to the Revolto on there, but it, this is just classic Lamborghini. It's got all the exotic looks, all the different lines that look so great on here, even that top end with that engine exposed on there. What a cool looking car, I can't wait to see more more colors of the Lamborghini Cyan. HW4 track from HW55 race team. And this one is your nice racing fantasy car, 55th anniversary of Hot Wheels. That's why we got the 55 race team. Hot Wheels logo on there. We got the single guy on there on the back. And look at the size of this spoiler on here. Big wing on there to help with those aerodynamics and downforce. So overall, it's a pretty decent looking racing fantasy car. Corvette Grand Sport Roadster from HW Screen Time. And this one is part of the Fast and Furious cars as it was featured in one of the Fast and Furious movies. This is a very, very clean design. You can see no graphics or anything on this one. Just super, super clean. I like that silverish, kind of, it's like almost like a light grayish color. Tampa work on the back, very, very nicely done. Just a very, very clean car. This is the Corvette to get if you just want something just easy to look at. Rally Special from HW Track Champs. 
And this is a recolor of the Rally Special. We got the white on the top, all plastic body, and then we do have these chrome gold, kind of old style looking wheels on there. Crazy designs on the rear end and the big lights on the front end. I'm not really a big fan of this car at all, but there we go. 72 Ford Ranchero from HW Art Cars. Our cars obviously have all the crazy colors on there. We got the V on the side of this one, Hot Wheels logo on the back, different color wheel tire combination. It's not a mistake because we do see it on this side as well. You can see all the graphics continue on there, the V on the top, and then we do got that nice little hood chrome bumper on the front end, clean on the rear for this Ford Ranchero. Rockin' Railer from HW Drag Strip. And this is your fantasy drag car. And we can see right when you open it up, you can see how this wiggles there to kind of imitate when the engine is on and this kind of really moves and stuff like that. When it rolls, you can see it also does kind of bump around. You can see this little piece right here, which helps bump the side right there. So we can see right on this side right here, there's a little thing that it will just bump right into and move that engine. So pretty neat that they've done that. Other than that, I mean, it's really nothing special of a casting, no detail as far as any dude sitting in it or anything like that, but there we go. Dodge van from HW55 race team. We got the white color of the Dodge van, a new color variation with the 55th on the side. Goodyear Hot Wheels logo in the blue and orange Dodge right there on the side. And we got the orange tinted windows on here. And the cool thing about the Dodge van, when we look on the inside of it, you can see there's a go-kart on the inside. It's all chrome with the go-kart that the Dodge van is carrying around. So I love the detail of this thing right here. I just love how they've done that interior. Even the front end, just check out the detail for that front end of the Dodge van looking so, so good. So it's kind of an underestimated casting. Most people would just bypass this, but it's actually very, very nicely detailed. Teed off two from HW Sports. And this is your super extreme golf cart right here. You can see that big engine on the front end. We got the big rear wheels, smaller ones in the front end. And then we do have, it looks like a seat in the back. So maybe not for carrying your golf clubs. This is just kind of a car to just zoom around in, but it's meant to be a souped up golf cart. I think it's pretty cool. I like the new color variation of this one as well. Fast Feline from HW Turbo. Fast feline in the black colored variation with the number nine on the side of it. Some graphics right here on the side as well. Gold wheels, big ones in the rear, smaller ones in the front. Number nine on the front end with a few of the graphics that carry over to that front end. It's kind of a clean looking design. You can see it's got that classic big front end with a smaller one, probably a rear wheel drive car. And on the back, it kind of looks like a mesh between like a Viper and a Corvette of some sort. Overall, it's pretty neat. I do like this one. BMW i I ate Roadster from HW Roadsters. And this one is new to our main lines. We did see this one as a Hot Wheels ID car way back, and it's nice that we finally have it in our main lines, although slightly disappointing with the detail. I feel like there should be more detail or graphics of some sort on the side. It just looks super dark and clean. You can see all the vents and stuff like that. It would have been cool if they highlighted a lot of that stuff. You can see the little BMW logo on the front end, but I do like the Roadster style look of this. I think the design of the car is great, but I think a white one with maybe some blue pinstriping all around would be a much better color variation. So stay tuned, we'll watch out for that one in the future, hopefully. Mazda REPU from HW Hot Trucks. And this one we got kind of a nice tealish color on here. We do have the blacked out wheels, the white lip, the little flag on the back, the Hot Wheels logo. Number two on the side, we got Mazda rotary power on the front end, obviously being a rotary engine. Chrome grill, kind of an off chrome grill right there on the rear. We have just a plain, plain one with the exhaust sticking out, chrome base on the bottom, the white top on this one as well. Group C Fantasy from HW Track Champs. And this is our recolor of this one. We got it in the yellow recolor. We originally had this one as a white car. I like the blacked out wheel on the rear. I wish they continued that on the front. It's just the white one on the front and that's no mistake. We can see it on that side as well. We got the 34 written on the side, blacked out for the interior parts right there. It's a pretty neat fantasy car. It's kind of like a supercar slash race car, but overall, I think the new recolor of this one is better than the original. Pagani Zonda R from HW Turbo. 
I cannot get enough of this casting. This has got to be one of my favorite castings in the last few years. Absolutely love the gold wheels, the new recolor on this one. Pagani written on that spoiler. Look at the blacked out look for the interior. Aggressive front end, just the side profile look. It's just such a cool looking car. Love that rear diffuser on there. The way that spoiler is connected and has a little fins on the side. What a great car. I cannot wait to put this one on my wall and add it to the collection to display it with the other ones. 1970 Dodge Power Wagon from Mud Studs. And this casting used to be one of my favorite Hot Wheels cars, and who's gonna deny the new recolor of it as being an amazing one? We got it with all the mud splashed on the side from the Mud Stud series. Still got the Dodge logo, the Mopar logo, 1130, and look at that mud just splashing on through. The front end is fairly clean, so is the top. I would have liked to see maybe some mud on the top right there. That would have been cool as well. But just look at that side and the mudded out wheel tire combination right there on this one. What a Great, great new recolor. Super happy to see this one in the Mud Studs lineup. Ducati 1199 Pinagali from Factory Fresh Treasure Hunt. And I'm usually not a big fan of seeing motorbikes in the Hot Wheels lineup, but Ducati's is the exception. I absolutely love Ducati's. They're kind of like the Ferrari or Lamborghini of motorbikes. We do have the Treasure Hunt logo just right there on the side of it, as you can see right there. We got the Hot Wheels logo, Ducati Corsa on there as well. The Treasure Hunt logo is on both sides. You can see it on that side right there down below on the fairings of it. But overall, the detail of the casting, I mean, it kind of looks a little bit odd in the back right here like it's not like fully complete but you know what for a treasure hunts car i think it's really cool to see the ducati in the lineup with that treasure hunt logo cool combi from surfs up and this is a Moon Eyes edition. Obviously, you can see the big Moon Eyes on the side. Usually, Moon Eyes cars are yellow, but this one we got in this like kind of it's like matte gray on the sides, and then it's like satin finish gray on the top. So it's kind of interesting how they've done it slightly differently with paint. You don't really notice the difference in paint when you flip it from the side to the top, but you can see that shimmer on the top, and you can see how it's just matte on the side. We got the white wheels, the Moon Eyes right there, the wheelie bar on the back, the little surfboards coming out from the side that lip spoiler i really really like this casting i enjoy seeing the new recolors of it 84 audi sport quattro from hw the 80s and this is probably like our fifth recolor of this but who's gonna deny the recolors of this car i think it's a great looking casting this is a nice glossy black and we got the color on the side of it with the 84 the quattro the white wheel tire combination these are these classic like 80s style wheels on there. Very clean on the rear end in the top. Just that graphic stuff on the side. I really, really enjoy this casting. Like seeing the recolors of it. So I'm happy to see this nice gloss black one. Baja Holler from HW Haulers. And this one obviously is your off-road delivery truck. You can see it even says off-grid delivery with the mountains on the side of the Hot Wheels logo just right up at the top right there. We do have the open back right there so we can fit a bunch of stuff. We could, it would be cool to put like a little Lego guy or something in there. I think it would fit really nicely. We do have the off-road tires, the metal base on this one, plastic on the front end. Not really my style of car for Hot Wheels, but if this is something you like, here we go. Matt and Debbie Hayes, 1988, Pro Street Thunderbird from Retro Racers. And it seems like Mattel and Hot Wheels really love this casting. This, I think, is our third or fourth recolor of it this year so far. We got the pink, we got the white, then we got the black. So I guess it would be our third recolor. This gloss black is very, very nice. Just check out how much that shines in my lights right here. It looks so, so good. We got the gold wheels on here, kind of like the gold trim on the bottom right here. And then just look at that graphic written down the side. Very like 80s-esque, very, very suiting for this car. The parachute on the back. Overall, I'm very happy with this recolor. Cloud Cutter from Sky Show. Is it a car? Is it a plane? Why not just have it as both? And that's kind of what it looks like. It's got the jet engine on the back right there. We've got the wings on here, the wings that come out the side with the flames on there, and it's got the wheel and tire combination in that kind of clear wheel on there. I mean, if you like the car, like cars and airplanes and stuff like that, this is definitely the best combination for you. Not really my thing though. Gotta go from Xperia Motors. 
And this is indirectly called the toilet car. You can see the toilet bowl on the back right there. And we can see how that just comes right up right there to have the seat go up or down. It is kind of a classic style like casting right here. It kind of looks like a 30s truck or 40s truck of some sort. The gold wheels on there. Overall, I like this casting. I think it's very, very fun. You can see when it rolls, that toilet seat goes up and down. And speaking of gotta go, that's gonna end off this video. Make sure you hit that like, follow, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.